Tua now on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. It's a pickup of One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He's going to let it fly. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Devontae Parker, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in a three, game. Yeah, about for four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Dalton down to a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.